Ah, there we go. Hi. Sorry, so, I'm a bit late. Nah, that's fine. It's just how rock and roll works these days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> by, by Zoom and being late, three minutes late. Well, that's oh, probably... Not a problem. Jenny Ann Smith, like, how's life doing for you? Because, I mean, there's lots of products, it seems, on your social medias coming out. And that's great. Yeah. This is, it's, well, it's a bit difficult uh, sort of to... to, to uh, to finally um, to understand that we're finally releasing this album because we we laid the final touch on, on it almost six months ago and now it's finally happening and we're starting to to get uh, well reviews are coming our way and and uh, yeah it's um, almost unbelievable <laughs> it's happening now yeah after a, a quite long process. Yeah. yeah. And do you find that, you know, it's it's going fast, how how this release is coming out now, because it's like the interviews are coming in and you, lots of, you know, new stuff just arriving. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're doing quite well here in Stockholm. It's, um, uh, it's quite, actually, it's quite, it's, it's quite normal. It's, it's autumn colds. It's picking up at kindergarten. It's concerts and music ongoing. So it's, um, uh, I'm so glad that there's not any signs of an a pandemic rising again here. And so, so it's life is it's quite normal. Yeah. Do you guys foresee playing some shows anytime soon? I didn't happen to see no dates marked anywhere. Playing in Istanbul in two weeks. Okay. Yeah, that should be exciting, you know, um, you know, post pandemic. Yeah. So uh, and I, I mean, Marcus have played in Istanbul several times, but I've never been. So I'm, I'm really excited that we can meet our, our followers in Istanbul. Uh, and so and we also have uh, um, an European tour next year in April, May. So that's a while. But yeah. That's good. Jenny Ann Smith, yeah. like basically that is your sting, the music video. It's so good and dark and the quality just like entraps you, you know, with, with on YouTube. Thank you. you Thank know, you. What, what, uh, how, how long did you, you know, take to work on this video, you know, with, with the, the people? No, no, I, I you know, my, making videos is not, that, that is not my natural habitat writing music, making music, performing, that, that's, that's natural. And, uh, and I think that, you know, making videos is, is scary and uh, really sort of hits your self-esteem. <laughs> I think it's, and I'm glad that you seem to like it. And, and many seem, seems to like it. But, you know, write, writing the song is, is one thing and that's my natural habitat. I feel that. Okay, I, I can, I can work here. I I know what this is. So making making a video is something totally different. But I I, I think we did a pretty good job together with Portugalios in Gothenburg. So what I could tell you about is making the song because I I wrote the I wrote the chorus back home at our table <laughs> in our living room and. Uh, with my little recording machine and my acoustic guitar. And I, and I, I thought that, oh, this is, cause I had, I had had the phrase death where is your sting in my mind for quite some time. And I've been you know, playing around with the melody. And so I would, sat down with the guitar and quite soon I, I had a chorus and mm -hmm. found some lyrics that would go to the melody, recorded it and sent it to Marcus. And I was like, do you think that this could fit? Avatarium, would, will this be able to sort of fit into our doom world or, or of sounds? And he was quite optimistic. He said, yeah, yeah, let's see. <laughs> and it was a bit more Johnny Cash-ish mm -hmm. to begin with. And it evolved into something more heavy and dramatic. So, it, of course, I, I, it's, it is, the lyric is, uh, is I mean it's a quite serious topic, uh, and and we're talking about the video. It's not 
makes it easier to sort of spin on that and to find something dramatic to to hook it up on and yeah and i'm very glad that it made it made it to the album this song uh, it's it's it was an interesting step to for me to take as a songwriter and and to get it into the avatarium sound and it made it as a single too so this yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> it did yeah it's like that when you do write, you know, let's say with that little recorder and then, you know, months later, you, f you actually hear what the final product is. I mean, you must be pretty impressed. <laughs> it will, uh, uh, yeah, probably one should be impressed with that. But, uh, but it's, it's, you know, it's so much work. It's such an effort from you know, a little seed to the, to the final song that you... You, you can distance yourself. I, at least I can't distance myself in that way. It's like I'm, you know, you're attached to this music and you're, mm, then it, you come to a sort of deadline where you have to let it go and then you can't work more. And you, you know, I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite, uh, I'm never fully content. There's always details and things I would have done different mm -hmm. if I would have sort of arranged and produced it now. So, uh, but I like it. I like what it, what it became, but I always, I'm, I mean, I'm always in a, there's always something ongoing. <laughs> so, but I'm very glad that it, it, it made it to the album and it sounds really good. It's a great production. And it's like that when you, when you start making this, you know, the album and stuff like that, you realize how, great the, the end product will be or is it like oh I'm not sure about what I'm doing now or is it like just mm. when, no, I, I, when you do I, listen I felt, to on that particular song I felt that this is a strong chorus I, I felt that I was like okay this is and Marcus was like oh this is um, this is like Fleetwood Mac-ish Avatarium <laughs> it's like yeah oh yeah it is and so you of course you I mean, you, you have so many references it, since, I mean, I've been singing since I was a young teenager and working with the greatest songwriters uh, through working with, with other people's materials, singing covers or singing standards or whatever. So you know what a good song is as a, as a singer. Uh, so, so, I mean, that this, it's to be... I mean, it's such a difficult art form to, to be a songwriter. Uh, you, you need to be humble and you need to know your limits. <laughs> yeah. Speaking on, let's say, time and stuff like that with the pandemic and, you know, everybody slowed down so much. Yeah. Did, did you have, like, time to, like, just do other stuff and just, like, concentrate on different things in life? Or how, how did you... Work the pandemic for yourself. Well, I, I, you know, I, I was, I felt very lucky because I, I, I work a couple of days a week. I work as a psychotherapist, and so that was ongoing. That didn't take any break through the pandemic, and I kept meeting people in person. Uh, and I was, I, I felt quite privileged. Uh, I could go to, uh, to see people and, and meet in person. Um, so and. But the, so the musical process took time because mostly because of the recording process was so, everything was so altered. Uh, everything was so fragile. I mean, you could schedule a, a studio session and, you know, there's meticulous planning and building and someone proved unlucky enough to have symptoms of an infection that day or a partner did, and then you had to cancel everything and then postpone and replan so yeah difficult but yeah it gave us we wrote this album uh, during the period of two years which also means of course that there were a lot of music that didn't make it to the album and these eight songs are the top-notch ones mm -hmm. and that's a bit luxurious that we could make it that way yeah and and going on songs you know that don't make the album whatever happens to these songs is like is it going to be like released on a box set in 20 30 years from now or is it just gone? Yeah. 
Well, they're recorded and they're somewhere in, in bits and pieces here and there. And that's, that's, I mean, it's good to have that library. You can pick up some pieces and combine it with something else and you have a new song. So it's, it's good to have them. It's like that. And I see that your, your YouTube page, you know, Avatarium is like r really like doing pretty well. You guys posting videos almost not constantly, but like a lot of times. What do you think of the social media aspect of, of the world now, you know, to promote your music? I think you have to just uh, accept how things are uh, and work with that and around that. Uh, as good as you can, um, but I, I'm very, as a sort of a listener, I'm very conservative. I like to listen to to records. I like to listen to full length records, and um, myself as a listener, and also I think that um, it's it's this uh, this social media builds up to sort of promote there's a, this risk of promoting a false self that you you just you become this image this mirror of what people expect of you and that's i think that's especially as a songwriter that's that's dangerous you have to because it will it, if you let that happen that will affect your integrity and it doesn't work so so to be able to you know <laughs> sort of block things out and, and focus on your own visions is important. And another thing too, you have the, the video for Stockholm and that's really pretty catchy video as well. I mean, the, the quality in that one too, uh, compared to um, that, where's your sting? It, it's a little different. I mean, you guys were probably with the same producers to make this video as well. No, it's, it's a, uh, it's uh, different yeah it's I'm different sorry. yeah it's it's uh, it's another collaboration uh, but we the song uh, we had written the the core to that song or the embryo to that song um, me and Marcus and and we wanted and we asked Leif Edling if he wanted to co-write that song with us and he did uh, so it's um, and I think it turned out so great. I, it, that's one of my favorites on, on the album. Um, so, and we, we just wanted a, a piece of moving pictures that would yeah, reflect the sort of the, the meaning and the, the, sort of the, the song without taking too much focus. Mm -hmm. In the end, let's say for um, the genre of music, do you prefer being called rock doom or, you know, metal, doom metal? You know, because it's like um, the word metal sometimes gets thrown in there and, and like, people just look at it differently sometimes because it, you guys got a certain blend of, of tones. And yeah. Sounds. Yeah. You know, I... I was just about to say I, that I don't care. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's people are very. I know that people are occupied with labels and putting labels on things too to easily. Um, of course, that's a, that's some that, that's helpful. I mean, to sort of navigate in in a musical world where there are there is a, such an enormous amount of music. And you need these etiquettes or these labels to sort of navigate. But uh, for me, that's not so relevant. Either you you uh, like the music or you don't. It's um, for me. It's just about this. Uh, I make music or or, or sing uh, music that I like myself. Right. That's, that's my focus, and it, it's and what 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 that's called or the, the, sort of the, the label that that's on that is, is less important. I totally. And I think that we, we have this, we have such a clever audience. They're 
music, so many of them are musically interested and play themselves and are smart and, and uh, great people. So, I, and I, I, they seem to, to be fine with our sort of, uh, um, un, sometimes a bit not so easily uh, identified <laughs> a label. It's like you have to be open-minded and you have to care about that sort of quality of the music. You know, so, well, I really appreciate you taking the time to speaking with me today and like the, the, the new album totally rocks and like... Thank you. Hopefully, Thank you. hopefully it charts, you know, very well. Thank you very much and I hope, I hope that many will will uh, like it as as you seem to do yeah we really do well you have a beautiful evening and uh, we talk again later you have a good one thank you very much bye bye, bye. bye. bye.